I'm Alex Nistor. I'm the Vice President of Process Improvements at Assist Software. We are a, an outsourcing software development company in, based in Romania with an office just opened in Augsburg. And we specialize in software development in cloud solutions and recently also in AI solutions. How do you foresee the development uh, and the future application of the artificial intelligence within the next five to ten years? I think it's difficult to say in the next five years, ten years, it's very, very far away. I really hope that uh, AI will be more present in the medical area. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the key things. I've read some articles uh, related to this and uh, some people were saying just manage to stick around for the next 10 years mm -hmm. because they think in the next 10 years there will be like major breakthroughs that AI will help solve a lot of the medical cases that we have. Should AI replace certain jobs and which should be the first that you are could predict or just assume? I think we are already seeing jobs being replaced, for example, in call centers. We already have agentic AIs which answer calls from customers mm -hmm. and respond to all of the small things. In Romania, or especially in Suchava, we had a company and they had a, a service call center there and they closed it because of automations done by uh, and with AI. Mm -hmm. So I think these are like the main things that already disappeared. There was an interesting uh, podcast that he had with um, uh, Dr. Jampolski, I think, or he's pretty sure that AI will replace jobs in the next five years, like a lot of them. Some people are talking about like a, that AI will help lower the cost of everything and that people won't need to do all of the boring jobs and whatnot, and people could focus on, I don't know, any other uh, creative uh, stuff. So from my perspective, I think in the next 10 years it's a bit too far. You see like how ChatGPT was last year and mm -hmm. how it is now and uh, how it's evolving and how fast things are going. Uh, but I think in the next five years, yeah, multiple jobs will uh, disappear, especially I hope in the administrative area also, like uh, when you have to go to the municipality and solve all of the things, you don't have to go there, just have everything available for you. How do you foresee the application of AI into the higher education? Should it dominate and... This is a very tricky question. <laughs> yeah, we just got it <laughs> in, the, in the workshop. I mean, yeah, it's a very fine line there. What I think, or in my experience, what I think is that the experience that I got in college and in uh, high school, is that all of the math, all of the physics that I did and so on, uh, helped build my critical analytical mind and problem solving skills. And it's really difficult to say if you have everything served on a silver plate, it's really difficult to say if uh, that will help or not. But on the other side, we could give all of these complicated tasks to the AI and we could think about the next steps, what we could do further. Finally, your yeah. tips to your students how to ethically use AI? Ethically use it. For example, one great way to, for me that I'm using AI is to learn a new language. Mm -hmm. I, I try Duolingo, for example, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I've been doing it for like half a year now and I can't, still can't speak German. I don't think it uh, works for me. Mm -hmm. So I turned to ChatGPT and I created my own GPT so that I could learn mm -hmm. the language. And currently it's working okay. I, I, I would say uh, we will see soon, but I think it's a good ethical way. I think, uh, yeah, they could use it for, for learning new things. Not only what they're being taught in school, but uh, also passions and other things. And finally, what are your impressions from our university, from Axio Exponential University for Poet Sciences? Once I got inside of here, I met uh, really nice people, really positive people. And also the workshop, I got uh, questions, really nice questions from your students. And I think really deep questions, not only like surface level questions, but deep questions related to AI. So I think uh, you do a really good job here at this university. Thank you for the feedback. That's really appreciated. Thank you very much for having me here. I hope uh, I managed to share uh, some things about my expertise in this area and that uh, our time was well spent together. Thank you. Pleasure was all ours. So thanks a lot.